Bitcoin reaches a record $10,000 per coin. Quintana Roo leads the rest of the country for employment generation in 2017, and total global spending on football players hits a staggering $6 billion. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Mexico News Network's Breaking News Business. I'm your host, Elliot Bullman. Let's go to the information. Bitcoin, the virtual currency, reached a record high of $9,700 after jumping 4.5% on Monday. The move takes it to 20% above the level it should stood on Friday, according to the Luxembourg-based Bitcoin exchange Bitstamp. It started the year at around $1,000. Virtual currencies are largely unregulated and bypass traditional banking systems. Their growth is of increasing concern to international regulators. China and South Korea have banned any new virtual currency launches and have been shutting down exchanges on which they are traded. Bitcoin is neither backed by any government nor central bank, so there's no entity responsible for backing its value. European Central Bank policymaker Ewald Novotny told Reuters news agency that Bitcoin could easily blow up and central banks could then be accused of not doing anything. The world's leading derivatives exchange, the CME, said recently it planned to offer trading in Bitcoin in the near future, although it hasn't set a date. The potential involvement of CME has spurred the price of Bitcoin even higher. Quintana Roo leads the rest of the country for employment generation in 2017, with 10.5% double the national average of 4.5%, according to figures released by the Mexican Social Security Institute. Quintana Roo's governor, Carlos Joaquin, said that in the third quarter of this year, Quintana Roo generated 41,194 formal jobs. This figure represents 9,036 more than in the same period of the previous year. The governor of Quintana Roo added that in the second quarter of 2017, Quintana Roo had already registered 32,426 formal jobs against the 26,990 registered in 2016. Carlos Joaquin said that the state's labor situation is moving in the right direction, so that people over 40 years of age will have a job which in the past they didn't have. He added that women also improve the economy and generate work by strengthening or opening new businesses. The figures were released during a recent event hosted by President Enrique Peña Nieto at La Residencia Oficial de los Pinos in Mexico City. Football transfers were catapulted off the sports pages into the global media spotlight this year when Paris Saint-Germain broke or rather smashed the world record fee to snatch Brazilian star Neymar from Barcelona this summer. The French club paid an eye-watering 260 million US dollars for the player, more than doubling the previous record set when Paul Pogba returned to Manchester United from Juventus for 89 million dollars in August 2016. And now the latest data from FIFA, the sports governing body, shows there's been 15,291 international transfers so far in 2017, with total spending on players reaching a record $6 billion. That figure is 25% more than the $4.5 billion spent in 2016. Two factors are driving the spending, which are the emergence of China and the huge transfer fees that they're prepared to pay, and the second factor is the English Premier League club's growing spending power thanks to more lucrative TV deals. When the January transfer window opens in the biggest five European leagues, as well as in China and Brazil, players, clubs and agents will be gearing up for a frenzied period of global trading that could see spending leap even further ahead during 2018. And finally, let's turn to the markets. The Mexican peso decreased 0.29% to 18.52 from 18.58 in the previous trading session. On the other hand, the IPC Mexico decreased 1.39% to 47.275 from 47.942 in the previous trading session. This was all for today. 
Thank you for staying with us. I'm your host, Elliot Bullman. Remember to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, and log on to mexiconewsnetwork.com for more information on Mexico and the world. Until next time.